Today on Terminal IT James, we are joined by Craig Searle, who is the Director of Consulting and Professional Services for the Pacific at Trustwave. Trustwave protects its clients from the devastating impact of cyber attacks through a team of security consultants, threat hunters, and researchers working relentlessly to identify and isolate threats. Craig joins us today to tell us more about Trustwave and its unique penetration testing offering. Thank you for coming along, Craig, and welcome to the jam. Good day, Zach. Thanks for having me. So for a business that hasn't worked with Trustwave before, what are your key products and offerings? Oh, great. So look, Trustwave is a leader in managed detection and response, so MDR, um, managed security services. You'll often see that referred to as MSS. We also have a globally recognized consulting and professional services team, uh, database and email security products. So our Spider Labs team that you mentioned around penetration testing, they provide uh, award-winning threat research and intelligence. And then that is then infused into our, uh, our services to help us uh, fortify resilience for our customers and allow them to deal with sort of the advanced threats and the evolving threat landscape that we see in the market at the moment. So overall, I would say our focus is to be a global cyber defender that uh, enables us to stop cyber threats on behalf of our customers and ensure that they can do business securely. Awesome. And you touched on it there, but could you tell us more about your penetration testing or pen testing offering? How yes, does it so, differ from vulnerability scanning or red right. team? So uh, our penetration testing team is Spider Labs, and they're, they're very well known globally as being sort of an elite uh, vulnerability testing, penetration testing and red teaming uh, group. Um, so they focus on forensics, ethical hacking, uh, application security testing, and then the lessons that they learn in conducting those assessments then gets uh, distilled down and generated into our other products and services in our MDR, MSS, uh, email security and offerings, that sort of thing. So you know, we have thousands of assessments and millions of scans per year. And the knowledge and intelligence that we've gained from that, um, we're able to then bring that to bear in our other products and services. Um, that means from a proactive perspective, our customers are able to better identify uh, threats earlier and defend their business um, much more efficiently and effectively than sort of a standalone uh, offering. And so for us, that is a really unique point of difference. We're one of the only firms globally that is able to combine the MDR and MSS offerings with our consulting professional services offerings and bring that to bear um, through our Fusion platform. Um, so using Spider Labs, you know, you get um, an effective risk managed, risk aligned approach to security. They get complete visibility of their testing uh, environment and their testing uh, results. Um, the ability to defend both against sort of advanced threats, but also able to get the more sort of um, bread and butter uh, vulnerability management services, um, the ability to defend against database level attacks, the ability to uh, defend against email borne attacks, all of those different features and functionality are all available through Trustwave. Awesome. And when it comes to penetration testing, why is a programmatic approach the best method? I think probably there's a few elements to that. So the first one I would say is that testing is not just a point in time activity. Um, over previously organizations would do sort of one test per year and that would be broadly considered to be sufficient, but that's no longer the case. Testing needs to be done on a much more regular basis as in, uh, the client environment evolves over time. Testing needs to be sort of uh, adapted to align with that. So there's also the fact that vulnerabilities are getting um, identified pretty much hourly. And so testing and attack methods need to be deployed with that sort of frequency in mind. So the need to stay ahead of threats is, is an absolute constant. Probably the next thing I would say is that time is, is a finite resource. Everyone's very busy. So having an easy way to book and engage testing and, and consume testing in a way that maximizes efficiency for our customers is sort of is paramount. So the Fusion platform allows our customers to essentially book testing, consume the results, look at historical trends, uh, provide customized reporting, all of those things in a much more streamlined and efficient manner than the old school approach of sending out a, an RFP, consuming the RFP responses, identifying a vendor, going through a protracted sort of commercial um, process, then have the test. Like that burns time that people don't have. So we've uh, structured a way that will um, make that as efficient and as painless as possible for our customers while still getting a really, really high quality technical outcome. 
Um, the other one I wanted to point out is just the, the, the managing budget and control. So um, the way the, the MST or managed security testing platform works means that your customers can uh, define a, a select budget that they want to work within and then they have con total control of that budget there's no nasty surprises there's no um, gotchas in terms of the way test spends occurs so from their perspective they've got that absolute certainty that they know what they're going to spend they know what they're going to get for that spend and they'll get the right outcome at a technical level and the way that that gets performed is you know seamless and efficient and so it's a really good use of their time last one i would say is the um the retention of records and analysis and that sort of thing. So a common issue for customers um, that consume services in that sort of old school manner of having sort of the RFP process and that sort of thing is that once reports are delivered, they often get you know, lost in file servers or you know as the security team evolves, the, no one remembers the results and that sort of thing, where being able to have a singular portal that contains all of the vulnerability data, all of the results, all of the recommendations over time, so that you can actually go back and say, last year we did a test on this system, what were the results? And the, the answers are there you know, at your fingertips. It's not just the efficiency with which testing can be conducted, but it's the efficiency with which people can get access to historical records and, and draw their own analysis, their own uh, conclusions on that based on being able to generate customized reporting. That is really unique and it's a really big driver for our customers that consume managed security testing because they're able to continually look at what they're doing identify what trends that tells them about, and then figure out ways that we can then assist them further, either through testing or through some of our other services. Fantastic. And Craig, when, uh, what are the key things that organizations should ask their penetration testing provider? I'd probably say the first one is, you know, what's the, what's the mission? Like for, you, for an organization that says that we're going to provide penetration testing, as a consumer, I would want to know what, what's the mission, what's their purpose in doing so? You know, are they focused on getting the right outcome? Are they trying to get merely as many vulnerabilities as they can within the within the time frame? Or are they focused on getting really high quality outcomes, not just in the technical testing, but in the overall experience for the customer? Um, I'd also be asking around what certific certifications and credentials organization and the individuals within that organization that will be conducting the testing have you want to make sure that you've got a really reputable organization that's able to identify industry recognized certifications both at the organization level and at the individual level um, what type of security research do you do as i mentioned earlier you know, the, the threat landscape is continually evolving and so the expectation would be is that the security provider you engage is similarly involved and engaged in making sure that they understand what's happening in the threat landscape at any given moment. Um, and so making sure things like I've got a really active blog, really active threat intelligence and threat research team to make sure that all of that information is being brought to bear during those penetration testing engagements. Um, what sort of capacity have you got? How soon can you do the tests? Who will be doing the tests? Um, where are those people located? Some organizations may have a desire to have um, local testers to their region. Some organizations may be looking for more of a um, an offshore or nearshore um, based testing approach. Um, so you wanna make sure that you know what you're getting and when. Um, are you performing of even simple things like, is this gonna be a vulnerability scan or a penetration test? Is this an entirely automated process? or will there be manual testing and manual verification of findings? Um, and to what level will that uh, interrogation of any identified vulnerabilities happen? Uh, what recommendations? How will recommendations be um, provided to me? What does the reporting format look like? Um, will I get retesting included in pricing? We often see customers that engage with other providers find that when they look for a retest, there is some fairly nasty um, hidden commercial terms around the pricing uh, that's associated with getting retesting done. We're very transparent around how that gets included as part of pricing for all of our uh, penetration testing engagements. Um, are you experienced with testing cloud systems? You know, organizations now more and more are using cloud-based either pure infrastructure platforms or SaaS platforms or a blend of the two. What experience does the penetration testing provider have in, in terms of testing those uh, types of platforms. 
And probably the last one is is how does how does the the penetration testing provider going to grow with the customer's environment over time? Like you you want a long lasting partnership with a reputable provider that's going to evolve and grow with you as a customer over time. So I'd say it's really worth having that sort of chat early on to make sure that this is not just a provider for you for right now, but also going into the future and someone that you can truly partner with. Fantastic. And if an enterprise end user wanted to engage with Trustwave, what's the best way to get in touch? Look, there's there's any number of ways to get in touch with us. I'd say, look, the best thing is to give us a call. Um, we have um, sales uh, associates in every corner of the globe. Um, here in Australia, where I'm based, we have uh, people based in every capital city. It's simply a matter of giving us a call, uh, engaging with us via our website, send us an email. We'd be very happy to you know, talk to any customers either uh, over the phone or in person and really make sure that we've got someone that's put in front of a, a customer. We understand your requirements and we can make sure that we can get absolutely the right outcome for your security needs. And also, as I touched on before, you know, trying to develop a really long lasting partnership to make sure that we can give you um, the certainty that you can conduct your business in a safe and secure way within an evolving threat landscape uh, that we now see that is, is modern day business, I guess. Awesome. Well, it's been great to hear more about Trustwave and better understand the need for penetration testing. Thank you so much for joining us on The Jam, Craig, and we look forward to hearing more from Trustwave soon. Thanks very much for having me.